Welcome to the Smiles Are Wild show brought to you by Pediatric Dental Associates and Orthodontics. We know as parents that taking care of your children's teeth can be overwhelming. That's why every week we will bring you educational content to encourage and empower you. Thanks for joining us. All right, so today we're going to be talking a little bit about camp traveling, all of the fun stuff. And we know you get this really long list um, when you're traveling or your kids are going off to camp or they're going to, whether they're going to a traditional like camp war eagle or whether they're going to basketball camp or whether they're just traveling with your family or with their own friends. Um, we want to make sure that you have everything that you need to make sure that they're continuing to have good oral health care habits and uh, specifically around their braces. Okay. So today we're going to talk mainly about kids <clears throat> who will be in braces, um, but obviously the top three things you should make sure your child has when traveling is a toothbrush, toothpaste, and floss. Um, mouthwash comes in small bottles. You can find those in the travel section. Um, that's also a good idea, but for sure, toothbrush, toothpaste, and floss for all members of the family, just to make sure that they're still continuing on those habits even while you are on the go. And we know it can be really stressful um, for parents, especially if you're sending your kid off somewhere. So we're hoping this video will kind of give you some tips and tricks and hints that you can do to make sure that your child is still continuing to take care of their orthodontic appliances while they are away from home. So we're going to start off today um, with talking about kids who have had their braces removed. So you're going to talk about retainers. So you want to make sure that they are taking their retainers with them giving them their instructions on when they should be wearing them, and then when they are not wearing them, that they put them in a case, okay? Every year without fail, we get phone calls that they threw it away in the garbage can at camp and we can't find it. Now, bless the camp counselors who probably dug through the trash trying to find it, um, but we just wanna make sure that at all times, if possible, that they put it into a case, okay? So if you got retainers, from our office, you should have been given a case for that. You can also find cases, even like mouth guard cases at um, sports stores. Um, or if they're going off to camp and they need another retainer case, email me, let me know. I'll be happy to get one up at the front desk for you, okay? So now we're going to fast forward into, well, they're in braces, they're off on their own, and what all do they need to have with them? So a few years ago, um, I came up with an idea to pack everything into a soap box. So everything I'm gonna show you fits into this little soap box, okay? The way I have it positioned right now, it won't close, but that's okay. This is in the travel section. It's just a small soap box. You can get different kinds of colors. Um, for fun, you can put their monogram on it, their name on it, or you can just write their name on it with a Sharpie. Um, but everything that you would need to help them with their braces um, should fit in here. So it should be super simple. So first thing we're gonna talk about is one of the major things that we get specifically if they're new to braces is that their wires are poking or their brackets are rubbing their gums. And so obviously you're told whenever you get these braces that you need to be using wax. Um, so at our office, we have these really cute little tie dyed fun containers um, for the wax. And we give you a pack of this whenever you get your braces on. Um, and so you would use this just for any discomfort. So you wanna make sure that your kids have their wax with them, packed up with them to take on their way to travel, okay? You do, um, most of you are gonna travel out of our area, so you're not gonna be anywhere near your orthodontist. So you wanna make sure you have all the tools with you so that if you do have some type of emergency, you have everything you need. So number one is wax. Now, if you're out of wax or Dr. Jason, you ran out of the wax that Dr. Jason provided for you, you can email me, you can call up here, we'll put some, one up front for you. Or you can also just run to Walmart. It's, if you're on the go and you forgot it, you can run to Walmart and they now sell wax for braces. So this is gonna be what you're gonna find there. You can see there's two plastic cases in there as well as a little cutter. So this is what they call a spade. Um, and you can just slice the wax right out of there. I think that's really handy. Um, <clears throat> but you can find these at a local drugstore, Walmart, Target. And you, you know, if you're packing up and you don't have wax and you're like, oh my gosh, we're on our way to camp, just run by your local Walmart. You should be able to find this in the toothbrush section. Okay, so first is wax. Then you wanna make sure that they have everything that they need 
if they have a pokey wire. So brackets can start to rub and things like that and wax will protect that. But pokey wires, you can also put wax on or they can be clipped or they can be moved around. So you, if your child's been in braces for a while, you'll notice that over time as the, they come in for an adjustment, everything's good. And after like three or four weeks, their wires start to poke them. That's because the teeth are moving and the wire may get a little too long on one side or be shifting. And you can actually just move that wire around um, if, it, if it's able. And um, you can push it into the back bracket and get it to where it's not poking. Um, you can also clip any poking wires. So if a bracket was to break and you had wires just hanging around and you needed to clip it and get it out of there, you can just use regular tiny nail clippers to do that. Um, so you wanna make sure they have some of those. And then if a wire comes out of a bracket or you have, um, you need to move them around, you can also just use a simple pair of tweezers. So you should pack these as well into the soap box. Um, now, depending on what your um, camp rules are or where you're traveling, um, you may not be able to pack actual ibuprofen for them, but you can find little travel things of Advil um, and that will also fit in the soap box. So that's just a thought. Do check with your camp and make sure that they're allowed to have that on their person, or if you need to check that in um, when they arrive at the specific camp or the specific area where they're visiting. Um, and then one of the most important things also, all these things are important, but rubber bands, let's talk about it. Okay, you do not want to leave and travel out of state, out of the area without making sure your child has a full pack of rubber bands, okay? We do not want to go back on all the work we've been doing. If your child's been wearing their rubber bands consistently, they're gonna get out of braces faster. And even just one week of not having them can make a huge difference in when they're gonna get those braces off. So make sure if you're in for a visit and you know they're traveling, make sure you get an extra pack of rubber bands. If you know you're traveling and you're running out, call us, we'll be happy to put the proper rubber bands up front. Just make sure that you look at the front of the package. This one is a quail. It's notated by the animal on the front of the package, um, but make sure and call us and get your sets of rubber bands before they leave to travel so that you can continue all the good work they've been doing, moving those teeth, getting them into position so they can get their braces off as quickly as possible. So rubber bands, super important. Then we wanna make sure that we are keeping our braces extra clean. We would not want to go a week or so without making sure that we are brushing. So. On top of brushing, you can also use something that we call, a, we pronounce them proxy brush or prox a brushes, and they're made by the company that's GUM, just G-U-M, and they are called go-betweens cleaners, and they look like this, and I'm going to try my best to try to show you on the screen, but you can see they have a little like, I call it like a bottle brusher, but it's like a tiny version of a bottle brush. And it, we call them like they have a tree shape at the top here. And this is what they use to clean between their braces where the toothbrush won't fit, okay? They come in different sizes and colors, um, depending on how tight everything is. Um, they have a wide and an ultra tight and a moderate, um, but they come in a pack of 10 normally. They look like this, but you can see there it says gum proxa brush, okay? And these are really good, regardless if they're traveling or not, these are really good for kids that are in braces, okay? And you can pack one or two of those in their soap box. They can usually use it for up to a week as long as they're rinsing the brush just like they would rinse their toothbrush, okay? And then last but certainly not least are floss picks for braces. So you want to make sure that they have floss picks or floss with the actual floss threaders. Now for traveling, I highly recommend the picks. They can grab it, they can um, floss, and then they can throw it in the garbage and they're done. You can do that with regular floss too, but these are just a little bit easier when traveling. Um, so Plackers is a company that actually makes an ortho specific type of flosser here. You can see it says ortho pick here, and that means they are traditionally made for braces. So it'll say it on the um, packaging if they're made for orthodontics. Um, I have opened this package and actually placed seven or eight of them into the soap box here. Um, but you can see they have the floss here and then they can go underneath and then they even have this little cutout thing where you can get between your teeth and between your brackets here, this orange piece here. Um, but these are made to go up and under the braces, um, but these are perfect um, to get them to continue to floss. And flossing is really important, especially in braces, because you're moving all those teeth together super tight. 
So you want to make sure that you are getting <clears throat> in between those spaces. Um, there's some numbers out there that even say just brushing your teeth um, and not flossing means you miss 40% of your mouth. So you definitely want to make sure that they're picking up on that habit and that they're continuing to do that while you are traveling. So whether they're going to camp or whether you're going on a really fun um, beach vacation, we want to make sure that you know um, how to properly take care of their teeth. Um, as always, I am always here to answer questions. Um, if you're traveling and you need um, any of the uh, rubber bands or wax, we definitely have that. And you can just email me directly or you can call our office. My email is amy at smilesawild.com. You can also just call our office 479-582-0600. We'll look up your name and we'll get everything set for you up at the front desk. Um, again, this is not the end of everything that every child would need, but this is a really good um, small way for them to continue to be taking care of their braces um, while you are traveling. So here's everything in the soapbox here. You can see it's closed. It's good to go. Um, again, I just want to mention one more time that if you you know, ha or have a really girly girl and she likes everything monogrammed, that's fun. And it will make them more apt to use it if it has their name on it um, or some kind of fun um, design, anything like that. You can get just vinyl cutters. Everybody these days has one. Um, so you can find um, just different designs um, locally from partners, or you can also just go on Etsy and someone can send you the decal to put on here and put their names. You can also write it really fun with a Sharpie. Um, just whatever whatever you feel like you want to do, but the more fun you make it, the more um, possible they're going to actually use the products that you've included in here. But if you just wanted to pack this as an emergency kit too, like it can just stay in their bag, they don't have to do anything. Just remember what I said about the ibuprofen, and that is to make sure that if you are dropping them off at camp, that you are double checking that they don't need to check this in with the um, physician on site. <laughs> Um, and this is just a little bottle. I think it has 10 in here, um, but you can find these in the travel section. Um, and then um, we just want to make sure that everyone knows that if you share and comment on this video today, we are giving away a $50 gift card to Seven Brew. Um, we do feel like this is some really, really important information. And so we want to make sure that the more parents see it. So maybe your child doesn't have braces. Um, but maybe they're going to have them in the future. So you're checking this out for that. But maybe your cousins or your nieces or your nephews or your grandchildren have braces or anyone on your timeline, most likely if they're a parent, um, at some point they're going to have a child in braces. So we would really appreciate it if you would just share this information. We really want to make sure that we are educating the parents of Northwest Arkansas um, to take the best care of their child's oral health care. As always, if you have any questions, please leave a comment. You can also email me directly at amy at smilesorwild.com, or you can also just shoot us a direct message right here on Facebook or on Instagram. Um, you can also find all of our other educational videos over on our YouTube channel by searching Pediatric Dental Associates and Orthodontics, and you can find us on Instagram and our podcast on Spotify and iTunes by searching Smiles or Wild. We hope to see you guys again soon. And please, please, please drink lots and lots of water. It's very hot right now in our area. We want to make sure everybody stays safe and hydrated. And we hope you all are, are getting off a really good start to your summer. And we'll talk to you guys soon. Bye. Thank you so much for watching. Make sure to subscribe and go visit us on smilesorwild.com.